Hey, table tennis pips users. Again, I tried this Dr. Neubauer KLO with a sponge thickness of 1.3 millimeters this time. I learned from the TT Max channel that it is one of the most disruptive medium pips rubber. So let's see if it is that disruptive. I ordered this online from TT Malaysia store. It cost me 2,566 Philippine peso, SF not included. However, I was very excited because it was the first and most expensive medium pips rubber I had bought. I received it on November 20, 2022, and glued it on my butterfly Viscaria, a more controlled paddle. I practiced it again with my friend's robot launcher, HP-07. My first drill here is backhand chopping and backhand driving alternately on the same batch of 60 balls. Initially, I started with the ball frequency on its minimum forward spin of number 5 speed, with no oscillation. When I applied it on the tournament of December 10, 2022, I was able to include only two of my rallies here. The other five rallies where I was involved in chopping with my pips were not remarkable. It is either too high, where my opponent can smash or drive it, or they can quickly attack and finish it. It seems that I am still a beginner in backhand chopping. The following combination stroke I drilled in this robot is the forehand topspin alternating it with the backhand chop. My chopped balls are still too high from the net, less spinny, and very slow. Consequently, my opponents can react calmly to it and are always ready for their attacking stroke. I later combined the drills with passive blocks, passive push, and sometimes driving it, simulating the actual game. Anyway, I am still in my exploratory phase with this Pips Out Rubber. So far, I like the feel of this Pips Out Rubber, Dr. Neubauer KO 1.3 mm. It is less grippy, thus less friction, and therefore more disruptions. At first, I was uncomfortable because the ball slid when it contacted my Pips. As a result, I initially had difficulty controlling the ball, especially if I went against the spin. However, the more I go with the ball's incoming spin, the more I can handle it. For example, if the incoming ball is topspin, I can quickly chop or push it. If it is an underspin, I can loop or lift it. Now here is some of my footage. My passive blocks dominate my defense here. I still await the opponent's reactions before attacking with my pips in rubber. My third drill fascinates me. I have difficulty controlling the ball with a side push if the pips are grippy, just like my Globe 888, 1.5 millimeters. Although my return balls were spinny using Globe 888, using this KO is now less spinny. However, the sideways oscillation or wobbling of the ball is very unpleasant to the opponent. We do not yet include my return balls back and front oscillation. It was due to the complaints of my previous opponents. Remember, my only strokes before were only driving and passive pushing.
KOO is very effective if you are playing with the same level or below your level opponents. It is because you can easily win points without using a forehand. However, those who are above your class are not concerned with the disruptions at all. Particularly, if they once used long or medium pips before or if you keep on using your pips to receive and to defend. So my solution would be to practice harder with my forehand inverted pips rubbers for these high-level players. That's all Kabarkatas. I hope you learned something from it. If you want headaches for your opponents and to laugh more, this rubber is for you. Happy smashing!